best software for video editing that is the topic of today's video welcome to the channel if you're new i am tutorial tucker and i'm showing you some insane softwares before you get any further please leave a big fat like on this video i really do appreciate it and it boosts this video and go and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this with the bell so you're notified every time i drop a brand new video this is an awesome video and if you're interested in growing your channel make sure you check out TrueBuddy. the link is down below it helps frank your videos really really easily and i also have a brand new youtube course go check that out link down below but yeah let's jump straight into this video where i'm showing you this insane new software Software for video editing roll the video okay everybody so now I'm going to be showing you how to go and download the software and use it but do not click off now I've revealed it because I'm going to show you how to use the software insanely easily and uh, all the best tricks that you're going to need to do so obviously the first thing to do is click to download click that there choose your your installer so the majority of PCs probably here will be 64 bit so I'm going to go for that one um, and it's going to go and download it as you can see we've just downloaded it there but if you go back this does also work on Linux Mac and Windows um, and also 30 32-bit systems is really useful so you if this say the FOSS hub didn't work go and use the github but um yeah the FOSS hub worked for me so I recommend doing that one and just wait for it to download it's not actually that big of a software which is a real big positive it's only what 80 megabytes pretty much uh, so let's wait for that to download and um, yeah so once it's downloaded I'm gonna quickly run through the installation uh, the main process anyway so it's downloaded so what you do is click on it like you always do click yes for the security and you'll now have this pop up here so I've already got it but I'm going to click agree and just show you so then you'll just run through the normal installation process like you normally would and I'll let you do that so mine's already installed and all you want to do is simply search for it here or go to the desktop and go and click it so I'm going to click it now and as you can see it's loading up it'll take just a minute or two to load up and now as you can see here we are so let's just go and make this the full size to fit my screen a minute and there we go so lovely so when you'll be opening it up you need to go and make your first file so I've made a few products before because I've used software before um, but this will be your first one so let's just name this um, example just like so and then click start and uh, by the way when you first load up it'll probably look like this grab this little um, sort of the dots here and you'll get this line and just increase it because this is your timeline this is where you'll be adding videos and audio files so this needs to be pretty big um, so then you can actually see what you're doing so then all you want to do is right click here which I always do and click add audio track and then click add and um, video track so you can have more audio um, tracks the more audio files you're gonna have so if you've got like sound effects music you'll have more of these so you want to do is add that and do another audio track so you could have your say your sound effects here then your audio and this is for video so if you had like another layer of video you would then go and add another video track so you can have multiple layers um, but I don't need that one for now so I'm just gonna remove track and remove track that's just right clicking by the way and yes and then we've got our two main ones so now what you want to do is go and import your media so click on playlist and then it'll be here and you want to do is then go and find your files and once you've got it all you want to do then is drag it into here so i'm just drag it in like that and boom now that is our video here so this is your clips you'd add in all you drag in all your clips i've only got one for this example um so yeah you've got your clip here so now what you want to do is drag it into your timeline just like so and put it where you want it so there and it will load it in, it will take a minute and now we've got our first clip into our timeline so you then just drag all the rest in and add them to your timeline and as you can see there's a gap here so I'm going to quickly drag that just to the start ok guys sorry about that I just had to do a quick cut so you can you can hear my audio as well so yeah let's go and jump straight into this so I'm going to make it not too loud for you so the first thing you want to do is find where your video actually starts so drag your play the video until you start speaking so I speak just there just before and then you want to click it make sure it's highlighted red and then just press S the S key and it'll make a split now you want to go and click on the clip you want to remove and click delete key just like that and then you drag it back to the start so that's where I start speaking um, is now at the start this is a so quick I can test watch this recording to test a brand new editing software so then I want it to stop here again because I've stopped speaking for that little minute so then click there and click S again and then play again until I start speaking so S again and we can then delete that and now it's starting to build up a good time frame so also if you want to say instead of spitting you can just drag the start and the end like that if I wanted to end there I could have it end there but I need it to start back here so yeah sorry about that glitchy sound I don't know why I did that well, let's yeah, so see I'm gonna keep watching performing while editing and then I'm just gonna keep working my way through this is what I always do when editing I always do all the cuts and add the effects afterwards essentially um, I'm 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 so I start speaking just here and then do another cut and delete and uh, drag that back into the queue. I'm just making a few clips and just right keep now watching that's through. why I'm speaking with gaps. And yeah, let's see how it and goes. And make another cut here. 
and then just keep watching. Thanks for watching. So then all I want to do is do a cut just before I outro the little clip. So then do a delete and drag that in. So this is a prime example where you, I would just use um, the sort of delete at the start of the end by using, clicking this red line and then dragging it just like so. I can line it up to where I start speaking, just around there, and then you can do a test. See how it goes. Thanks for watching. So that's perfect to me. So then you've got your clip here and you can obviously it's all cut, perfectly lined up, but you can also add so much more. So for example, you can add music by using this extra audio layer, but quickly I wanna show you how you can color grade it, which a lot of users you can do. You can also add other stuff to it. So you wanna find the first one here because then we can crack template and copy it to all the others. So click on your first clip and then all you wanna do is go to filters and here you click the little plus sign and then we get all of these effects we can add. So you can add any of these, any of you want. So I'm gonna start with color grading and now we're here. So we can have our shadows, you've got mid tones and you can move along and you've also got highlights. So yeah, you can sort of mess around with this. You can obviously change the color or you can just change it uh, sort of like, I guess, white and black. So as you can see, that makes it darker and that makes it lighter. So I might increase the, uh, the color to a bit wider of the clips. Um, just like so, I think that's pretty good. And um, obviously then when we go off this, the color will change. So if I then come here, it is a bit darker that clip. So to go and copy that, all you wanna do is click this one here, like that, copy this, then click on here and you can click paste. Um, we'll do it to all of these clips, paste, and then paste here. And then and if you watch through, they'll all look the same. The so yeah, well, that's pretty that's much how it's the main basics of these filters, I'm just making a um, which is really good. And obviously it does make it look pop, uh, pop a lot more. And you can add so many effects. Like I said before, you can have obviously your contrast brightness, so much of this stuff um, and white balance, which is really useful. But now I want to go and show you how you can add some music. So just put this back to the start. It's, I just find it always good practice and click off this. So all you wanna do is find some music you want to add in. So I personally use um, no copyright sound, so I'm gonna quickly drag some in if I can find it in my files here. So I'm just gonna click back to the playlist before I drag it in and put it in here. So it's just some no copyright sounds music. And once you've got that, then you wanna drag it into your audio layer. So as you can see, this is quite a long song as well. Um, so it'll make, take a minute to load it in and then drag it back to the start. So obviously I want the music to end uh, when I start speaking. So I'm gonna just put it there and then press S and it will delete it. Or split it sorry then you go and delete it the delete key again and then this is gonna be extreme ext the music's gonna be way too it's loud a quick for the, test recording to test a brand for new the actual software. video as you can hear so to lower that what you want to do is click on it and then go back to filters and add another by clicking the plus and then you can go down to gain volume and here you can change the the loudness of it so negative is making it um quieter and increase makes it louder so to do with this, I normally put it down to about minus 30. So let's see how that sounds. I hope the software's working well and let's see how it's that actually performing while editing. absolutely perfect for I'm just me making anyway. a few clips right now. Um, That's why I'm sort of peak. Speak. Yeah, I'm really happy with that actually. And you can obviously add other effects. Like I think you can have a fade in audio, which is really good. So as you can see, you've got that there. And then I'm going to add a fade out as well by clicking fade out audio. And then you can see of the fade out. And I might actually add a quick fade out onto the fade in, sorry, to this clip here. So filters and then plus fade in video it just makes it's it look really cool record. and then i'll add that to the end clip as well clicking there and then going plus and going for fade out video perfect and that's what i really want so this is like your yeah. main clip right and then once you've made your video Quick just go and save it i also recommend you can save by going along by just be going file and then save and obviously save your file here um, but to go and actually export it you want to come up here and go to file and then go to export video now it's going to load up your settings now here the settings are pretty pretty easy if you ask me i normally click youtube and then double click on it and you can go and click advanced and then you can change the settings so personally i like to use 30 fps instead of 25 um and then you've got your 1080p aspect ratio keep that all the same and then once you've got that you just click export file and then it will come up where you want to save it so i'm going to save my videos captures and click save again and then it's going to go and render it out as you can see it's rendering there so you've got to wait a couple minutes and then it'll save it you can see it up here it renders really fast it's really useful as well so if you've got a bit of a low power pc it won't take years to render so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this if you have please smash a big fat like down below subscribe to the channel for more content like this and i'll catch you in the next one peace out